Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Kaz and today I'm going to give you guys tips and tricks of how to speedrun Minecraft on version 1.16. I hate the weather. Before we start, there are a couple things that you should keep in mind. The speedrun is very time consuming, especially if you're trying to get a personal best score, even if you're trying to go under one hour. You can have the most perfect world, but there will always be that one thing, that one thing that will mess you up. Whether it be finding a village on the spot, or searching for another fortress, or even at the end. If you're new, it might be a bit of a struggle, but with these tips and you consistently practice, you'll get the hang of it and it won't be as bad. While starting up a world, the first thing you want to look for is a village. In my opinion, if you don't find a village right off the spot in your new world, I would recommend just resetting. If you don't reset, you'll spend a lot of time just searching for a village. While if you reset and find a new world, you can find a village right off the spot and save a buttload of time and your run will go even faster. After you find a village, you have to do the basics of the basics of Minecraft because you can't beat Minecraft without playing Minecraft. So start robbing a villager's house, get some wood. I would recommend getting about three to four logs. With those logs, you can create a crafting table as well as creating some sticks so you can make yourself a pickaxe make yourself your stone tools I would recommend getting around nine cobblestone to create all your tools such as the pickaxe the axe the shovel and the stone hoe there are two things you could do next you can either find the iron golem or start getting some hay bales that are around the village by using the stone hoe you created you can quickly grab the hay bales around the village so you can make yourself bread which is a good source of food so you don't waste your hunger but after you find the iron golem you could see he's a very big boy so you want to build up by three blocks so you can start attacking the iron golem while waiting for the low time in the middle of the minecraft bar to fill up you want to simply jump up in the air and as you're falling start attacking the iron golem and you can see some pretty sparkles just going all around the iron golem once you see those particles that's actually doing quick damage to the iron golem which deals much more damage and the reason you're using an axe compared to a sword is because the axe is actually stronger than a sword so once the iron golem's down hopefully the iron golem drops around four to five iron with that iron you can use three of them to create a bucket if you have an extra iron ingot you can use the extra one to make a flint and steel for the nether later and if you have one more extra iron ingot you can actually create a shield to protect yourself from mobs cool now that step one is out of the way the next thing you want to do is either find a lava pool or find some gravel to get a flint by breaking gravel there's a tiny chance instead of getting the gravel block back you'll actually get flint which you can use to make a flint and steel that could create fire once you find a lava pool there's actually a cool little trick that you can do to quickly make a nether portal so you can quickly get to the nether and start finding the nether fortress. To create a nether portal is actually fairly simple. All you need is one, two, three, four blocks on the side. Put a block right here and put water right next to it. You can then get rid of that block which makes more obsidian. Then you want to turn around and place three blocks from this one obsidian here. So one, two, three. Place a block right above it and place two blocks on the side like so. Grab your water and put it back up here and then you could proceed to put a bunch of obsidian as though you are creating your nether portal. I almost died. <laughs> bop, bop. If you want to feel fancy, you can pick up your water, place it here, break the two blocks down here, and quickly place lava. If only I was faster. God damn it. Oh no! Now that you're in the nether, you have two options. One, you can either start mining gold, which is around the nether. Or two, you can start searching for the nether fortress. After the Minecraft 1.16 update, they actually made the nether fortress a bit harder to find, while also adding a buttload of other cool biomes in Minecraft. So although the biomes are cool, it makes finding the nether fortress much harder. Finding a nether fortress is actually one of those time killers that could kill your run right off the bat. So hopefully, if RNG is on your side, you'll click can find another fortress to beat minecraft even faster if you do find another fortress the one thing that you want to look for are the blazes if you look around you can find some blazes around or you can find a blaze spawner which consistently spawns a bunch of blazes after you kill some blazes they drop an item called the blaze rod which is used to create the eye of ender so i would recommend getting about seven to eight blaze rods before you start moving out it is now time for one of the worst parts you remember how i mentioned that you should get some gold you can find some nether rack that looks like they have little gold bits and if you craft the gold nuggets you can create some gold ingots which could be used to trade with the piglins that you find around the nether now be careful and don't mistake the piglins with the regular pigmen because they're both completely different with the piglins who are wearing the brownish armor if you drop them gold ingots they start going through an rng type system where you have a small chance of getting the ender pros you need or a bunch of other stuff that really isn't necessary but some are quite useful this could take a long time 
game. So it's recommended to have multiple piglins at once. So hopefully they drop a buttload of ender pearls so you can start getting out of the nether and find the end portal. If you want to be safe, try and get a stack of ender pearls from the piglins. But if you're feeling risky, maybe go for 12 and start leaving the nether. And with that, we could start going through the final phase of speedrunning Minecraft. After leaving the nether, you want to create an item that's called the Eye of Ender. What the Eye of Ender does is if you right click the Eye of Ender, it actually leads you towards the stronghold, which is where the end portal to fight the ender dragon is located. To craft the Eye of Ender, you simply need one ender pearl and one blaze powder, which to make the blaze powder, you just need to use one blaze rod, which gives you two blaze powder. After you make the Eye of Ender, you simply right click the item and start following the direction it points you towards. Now to find the stronghold is a little difficult. I would recommend running about 200 blocks in the same direction the Eye of Ender is pointing towards. Then right click the Eye of Ender again to see if it changes. If the direction suddenly changes, that technically means you're near the stronghold. So I would start digging down until you start finding stone brick. And once you find that stone brick, you enter a little building and that's called the stronghold. And all you have to do now is find the end portal. This could take some time, but if you see a very bright source that can help leads towards the end portal, but it won't be that easy. It could take a long, long, <laughs> long time <laughs> but eventually you do find the portal room all you have to do now is put the eye of enders inside the end portal frames enter the portal and you start fighting the ender dragon Now, there are two ways that you can beat the ender dragon. One way is a bit hard, but if you grab beds from the village you raided at the beginning of your speedrun, if you time it right, right under the bedrock pillar that the ender dragon makes, you can place a bed on top, and just like the nether, if you right click the bed, it creates a huge explosion, which deals a lot of damage to the ender dragon. And if timed right, you can actually kill the ender dragon very fast. And the second method is basically the simple way. You destroy all the pillars that have the nether crystal on them. If you don't destroy the nether crystals, it regenerates the ender dragon's health. Oh, also, uh, be careful of the enderman. And also, be careful of the ender dragon's ball of doom. But after you do that, you simply wait for the ender dragon to come down towards the bedrock, and all you do is start swinging away at its head. And eventually, you kill the ender dragon, and you beat Minecraft, and you finish your speedrun. But anyways, hopefully this helped you in some way of how to speedrun Minecraft. I hope you all are doing well, and I'll see you guys in the next video I make. See ya!